everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is a super different format for my videos because today I'm doing yet again another project for my women in film class and this is actually my final project for my women in film class because yes I am graduating from OCC in like two weeks. Anyway, let's get on with this. This is my video project for my women in film class and today I'm going to be talking about hair. More specifically, hair in movies. I took a poll on my Instagram, please give it a follow, and out of all who voted, the majority of people voted yes, there is a correlation between hair and femininity. I can never pronounce that word. So this all being said, let's get started. Hair is not important whatsoever in terms of gender. Hair is very gender neutral and it has been all throughout history, from caveman times, Vikings, Greeks, and everything in between. However, hair in movies, we are all subconsciously guilty of associating hair length with femininity. Women with short hair in movies have often been coined as the token lesbian or even called dykey, which is absolutely such a derogative term. Janice Ian Dyke. But we all subconsciously do associate hair length with gender and even sexuality. I can't invite you because I think you're a lesbian. She came back in the fall for high school. All of her hair was cut off and she was totally weird. Now I guess she's on crack. The movie I would like to highlight most is Mulan. Mulan came out in 1998, which just happens to be the year I was born, by Disney Studios. It was directed by Barry Cook and Tony Bancroft. Mulan is a movie about a young woman living in China when a major war breaks out and the emperor is drafting every available man to do <laughs> Mulan's father is drafted into the war, but he is already injured from the last war he was in and will pretty much die if he goes into this war. Mulan makes the dangerous choice of going to war posing as a man which is highly illegal. Your great granddaughter had to be a cross-dresser! During the most beautiful instrumental piece of the movie called Mulan's Decision, Mulan prays to her ancestors, sneaks into the family's armory, takes her father's sword, and cuts her long hair, wraps it in a bun, and wears her father's armor and then goes off to the war. The cutting of Mulan's hair is very significant. In ancient China, hair was regarded as a precious legacy from parents. Most people would never cut their hair after they became adults, and cutting off one's hair was a penalty for minor crimes. So not only was Mulan dishonoring her family, but she also committed the major crime of disguising as a man for war, as well as cutting her hair. Dishonor on you! Dishonor on your cow! Mulan's hair is very important to her character. I noticed that up until she cuts her hair, her hair is always in her face. And you could argue that's because it's in a bun now, but during Honor to Us All, when the hairdressers put her hair in a bun, she deliberately curls her hair out into her face. I also noticed that during Honor to Us All, the highlight of the makeup process is her hair. In the very beginning, she's like, This is what you give me to work with. And she points to her hair. During the bath, she's washing her hair because that's how you do bath but then they brush her hair and she even says with good fortune and a great hairdo as if a great hairdo is what makes a man love you i also noticed and i don't know what this says about mulan that when she's walking in the line at the very end of honor to us all all the girls have their hair very tight and unique and that's the only words i can describe them as but they're very like royalty and mulan's just like yeah, I threw my hair up in my bun. Like, I can do that bun, like, if I'm late for school. You know what I mean? So I think this also says a lot about Mulan as a character. Only at these points of the movie is her hair not neatly in her bun. This guy's got me scared to death. You get porridge! What do you mean the truth's just left? Say what? Just because I look like a man doesn't mean I have to smell like one. Uh. Oh, hi guys! I didn't know you were here! I never want to see a naked man again. A woman! <gasps> oh. Treacherous snake! My name is Mulan. But from the point after she is discovered, she only has a single piece of hair in front of her face as opposed to the beginning when most of it was in front of her face. I believe all the beginning points were confidence. Her lack of confidence in regards to the matchmaker and disgracing her family. Other films I would like to point out that have some form of hair cutting is Les Mis and She's the Man. In Les Mis, although it's a musical, it is still a film. Anne Hathaway's character, Fontaine, cuts off her hair to sell it to the ladies of the night in exchange for money to help her not-so-sick daughter. What can 
I do, it pays a debt. Ten francs may save my poor corset. And she's the man with Amanda Bynes. She doesn't cut her hair, but she does wear a wig that makes her more masculine. Even though she looks exactly the same, but she's just wearing a wig, everyone seems to believe her. However, this one guy um, is very progressive and doesn't believe her, and then... Uh... Just because you wear a wig doesn't prove you're a girl. Okay, then. Yeah. That happens. Hair can also have a lot of symbolism. In Frozen, when Elsa sings Let It Go, her hair is up in this tight braided crown thing for her coronation and when she sings let it go for the final verse she lets her hair go symbolizing that she's no longer that strict rigid woman that she was before and she is now carefree and wonderful hair is almost like an identity my favorite movie is tangled click the card thank you and the whole movie is literally about her hair the opening title has her hair running through it the whole opening song is about her hair and throughout the thing even though it's all her chores it's all about her hair getting in the way of things mother gothel climbs up her hair uses her magic powers in the song mother knows best mother gothel says i love you most to the hair i love you I mean, look at that. Literally looks right at it when she says most. Hello? Most. Rapunzel ties Flynn up in her hair, so he is literally tangled. Is this hair? Struggling. Struggling is pointless. <laughs> get it? Tangled? Ha. And the only thing I want to do with your hair is to get out of it. Literally. The snuggly duckling that one guy comments on her hair. That's a lot of hair. She's growing it out. Is that blood in your mustache? She uses her hair as a vine to get across the ravine. Then she helps Flynn get across the ravine. Her hair is magic and glows and helps him get out of the impending doom of the water. We need it. Her hair glows. We're alive. We're alive. I didn't see that coming. Eugene? The hair actually glows. It also has healing powers to help heal Flynn's hand. Please don't freak out. When they get to the city, her hair is literally so long that it gets in the way of everything and everyone keeps stepping on it. So Flynn has little girls braid her hair and it's super cute. And the whole movie is literally about Mother Gothel trying to keep her hair safe. Not Rapunzel, just her hair. It has to be protected. Until, spoiler, even though it came out in 2009, the very end when Flynn cuts it off. When he cuts it off, it turns brunette for good. Her powers are gone, and Mother Gothel shrivels up to the sad raisin that she always has been and turns to literal dust. Is this where Marvel got the idea from? Is this a conspiracy? Is it 2am and I'm just grasping for ideas? Anyway, when the king and queen finally get to see their daughter for the first time in like 18 years, they hardly recognize her. At least that's what I think. I think the first like three seconds is I don't think that's her because the last time they saw her daughter she was blonde and then right after that I don't think that's her moment she's like BAM oh my god that's my kid surprise oh my gosh it's my daughter I can't believe it. The last time the king and queen saw Rapunzel she was blonde and her hair was actually pretty much longer than it was now but without this long hair Rapunzel would not be Rapunzel. Sometimes hair is a staple similar to a facial feature like the shapes of eyes or nose hair is something we identify people with. A haircut is a dramatic change for someone's identity. When Britney Spears and Jessie J shaved off their heads, the comment sections on YouTube were brutal. I heard a lot of people here online and they've all been talking about that girl, that young girl, I don't remember her name, don't matter. She's such a pretty young thing and she went and shaved her head. Britney Spears is her name. I do not know why she would do that. She needs someone to come and give her some guidance. She seems like a sweet young lady and I think to go and shave off all that pretty hair. When she showed up, well, let's just say with a whole new look that may not be so popular with her fans. Britney Spears. But when that happened, a lot of people said that they were both less pretty or less beautiful. As if it was the hair that made them that way and not like anything else. I even found an article about how to take care of your short hair if you're a woman the same way that men do. Hello. 
So Jessie J literally shaved her hair for Red Nose Day, which is a fundraiser for kids in need. And the whole time, the interviewers were like, So Jessie, stop now! You just come out over or something, put some double-sided <laughs> tape on it, don't you? <laughs> it's the weirdest feeling. Is it? Thanks. You look G.I. Jane bit. This isn't really about this, it's about donating. No, it is about that. It is, it's not. <laughs> right now. Yeah, it's it about is right now. <laughs> your, mom's, your mom's crying because she's saying, what, they're not my beautiful daughter. No, she's, she likes it. <laughs> Which I think is so rude because she's literally just donating her hair for charity. Her hair grows back. Some of those kids' hairs may not because they go through chemotherapy and things like that. To conclude, does hair matter? Absolutely not. Doesn't care what color it is, how long it is, if you shave it or keep it long. Hair is just hair. However, audiences do associate hair with femininity. It is completely subconscious and everybody does it. And we all together have to learn that hair doesn't matter. Hair is gender neutral. And I think if we all are conscious of that, we can all make a progressive society. If you enjoy these types of videos, please give it a like and subscribe and leave a comment down below so that I know you guys like these kinds of videos. I would like to give a big shout out to my teacher Jason Malloy for making this class absolutely positively so much fun. He was definitely one of my favorite teachers at OCC and I'm gonna miss him so much. Maybe if I get enough likes in this video, Jason will give me an A on this project. Ha ha ha, lol Jason, just kidding. Please remember to subscribe to my channel because I might start making videos like weekly again. Please check out my last video that I did for Jason's class. And until the next time, I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye!